Dogtra, the world's finest maker of e-collars for dogs, is proud to introduce Mike Ritland, former U.S. Navy SEAL, founder of Tricos International and the Warrior Dog Foundation. Mike's unique background and training expertise provide a powerful process to training canine dogs. So if you notice, my body language is essentially I'm not really doing anything. Um, you know, so what is he doing? He's, of course, he's paying attention to me. He knows I have a ball, but he's not really listening. He's just kind of doing his own thing. Whereas if I just change my body language and take the leash and do this with him, I didn't tell him anything. There's no, you know, you, you notice the slack in the leash. It's all just in what I'm doing with the leash. And this is where an e-collar can come into play too, is to, is to reinforce that, make sure. If he gets a little dirty, you can tighten him up with this, do it in conjunction with the leash. So if you've got the collar, or the, the transmitter in one hand and the leash in the other, and you're tightening him up while, while you're doing it, then he's going to pair that with having good leash manners, whether the collar's on or not. Okay. So just like that, you can dictate how the dog walks or doesn't walk, all based on what I'm doing. If you let a dog pull you all over and be dirty, they're going to pull you all over and be dirty. Come on. Here's what you have to think of is, is the leash, the collar, and the ball are essentially the same thing. It's keeping his attention. To us, it's very disparately different things. To them, it's not. It's an attention getter. One of them's negative. One of them's sort of negative, more neutral. The other one is extremely positive. You know, the end result is the same, is, is that he's, he's doing what I want because I'm using something to get his attention. <clears throat> Just like with anything, handling takes experience. Good leash control, good timing with the collar, good timing with reinforcement, it all takes practice. But uh, it's very simple stuff. It's just a matter of paying attention to the dog uh, and, and getting your timing right and practicing it and, and moving down the road with what you want.